what is going on guys it's your boy jumpy and today we got another video we're gonna be talking about the icr man this is a go-to ar a lot of pro players are using this is a gun that i'm using myself on game battles and uh, stuff like that so i want to kind of start this whole little mini series uh and and i wouldn't even call it a series it's just kind of comparing weapons to each other and kind of seeing like you know which one is the go-to because we know that with every call of duty when it comes to competitive there's always that those meta weapons that people are going to be using for example, World War II's was the PPSH, Bar, STG, M1903. For uh, BO2, it was the MSMC, the, the MAA one, you know, etc., etc. There's always those top tier weapons that people are going to be using when it comes to competitive game battles and, you know, whenever people are going to be trying hard. So, since we're going to be taking a very competitive turn with BO4, we're going to be looking at things competitively and stuff like that. I decided this would be a perfect. Uh, you know introduction to the channel so we're gonna be talking about the icr today and then later on in the week we'll be comparing it to the vapor xkg and the maddox in which both all, in which all three weapons i have personally used in game battles and i have seen other people used and use them in game battles and pro players are using them in their scrims and their wager matches etc so these ars are no joke they're being used for a reason today we're going to break down why in kind of a simple but yet in-depth version of them and we're gonna talk about the recoil first before we get into you know attachments and class setups and stuff like that because i think recoil is one of the most important things in this game as there is predictive recoil in which they pretty much kind of stay consistent with the recoil pattern there's no change there's no random pattern it's all pretty much the same and so it really allows you to master the weapon and be comfortable with it so let's go ahead and go to these two clips of the ICR in which it's hip firing and one with and one to aiming and then we're going to go into my favorite setup and show you the difference between those two classes so here is the recoil pattern with no attachments on the ICR here's the hip fire first and then here is the one uh, aiming down sights with no attachments on the ICR, uh, straight, bone, naked ICR aiming down sights. So as you can tell the, the, the hip fire, you don't want to be hip firing with this thing, at least without any attachments. It's pretty wild, it's pretty crazy. Um, it's all over the place and that's expected when you're hip firing you know you're not aiming down the sights you're, you're not having full control of the gun so I'm not surprised on the wild spread I am a little surprised of how wild it was though but uh, with the aiming down sights on no grip you can tell that it kind of goes up a bit and uh, that's that's better it's not all over the place and so we can see that the recoil without any attachments is pretty good on its own when you're aiming down sights it's pretty straight it's pretty consistent it does go up so if you're not using grip you're gonna to wanna to try to control it to kind of keep in the center, but then again, that recoil can uh, you know, do you a favor by helping out with the headshots, and maybe you'll get headshots easier without the grip. So for those challenges, you might wanna you know, let go of grip, you know, or not use it, but aim down your sights, and it should help you. Anyway, so here's my favorite class setup, and this is what I've been running on GBs with the ICR. I love it, it's my favorite setup. I use it on pubs as well, except I substitute Death Silence for a uh, ghost or i'll put ghost and death silence if i'm running snd on pubs um reason i don't have ghost on gbs on my gb setup is because there's there's not a big issue with you know uh, uavs as they're banned but you can run ghost as extra precaution i do have some classes where i run death silence and ghost but for this one particularly i just don't run it uh just out of my preference i just feel like i don't need it for this class setup in which i use it for hardpoint and snd i use it mostly for hardpoint so i feel like i don't really need ghost uh, as much uh, but i do use that silence at all cost i always use it it's it's my go-to it's what i use anyway so we're gonna look at these two clips of the spread of, of hip fire uh with grip one and two attached to it and then we're gonna look at the ads uh with the grips and the red dot sights and all that stuff put on the uh, on the gun so here goes this clip So as you can tell by the hip fire, it's still wild, but it's a lot less wild. It's still, I feel like it's a little more manageable, but I would still rather just aim down sights, unless you're in those, you know, very tight gunfights where you jump and you're not even aiming. 
you're gonna have a bit more control with the uh, with grip one and two on the ICR. And for ADS, it's a straight beam. It's a laser, so I think that's pretty OP by itself. And you can tell why a lot of people are gonna be running grip one and two. Some people just run grip one. I like to run grip one and two because with grip two, you do reduce flinch and other little stuff. So I'd rather, I, I like that. When I see flinch reduce, I'm, I'm gonna gravitate to it automatically. So that's why I'm running grip one and two and it's not banned, I would be surprised. I thought grip two would be banned just cause it reduces flinch and World War II banned the perk of reducing flinch on the armored division. So I'm a bit surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they do ban it, but for now I'll be running grip one and two on the ICR as it's a straight beam. Now let's get into the damage as this gun does a pretty good amount of damage. It's not that weak. It's a pretty strong weapon. It does, I, I, I've mostly seen me take people from a 150 health down to zero in about four shots max. No more than four, maybe five if they have armored or if they have the uh, the plus 50 from the crash specialist because you can't run armored in GBs, which is a true blessing, but crash can still basically give you that armor. Um, it, really, I would say five max if they have, you know, extra 50 health. But other than that, I mean, four bullets is not that bad. And this thing doesn't shoot that slow, so it doesn't really feel like you, it takes four bullets to kill somebody. It actually feels a little quicker just because the fire rate is there. It's nice. And so it's not a bad weapon. You unlock this pretty soon, but for GBs, it's not really, you know, a thing to worry about. But for pubs, you, this is one of those weapons that you get as soon as you're able to create a class. So definitely pick up on this class. It's no surprise to me why people are using it in GBs and pro players are using it themselves. So give it a shot, guys. If you have, let me know what you think of the ICR7 for competition for pubs. Let me know what you think about this gun. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I want to know you guys' opinions. Let me know your favorite class setups. And uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Stay tuned for the Vapor review and the Maddox. And we're going to compare all three of them in one big old video. It's going to be really hype and exciting. So subscribe to the channel so you know when that comes up. Like this video, all that great stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.